content creators in Destiny 2 are dropping like flies. Left and right, we have content creators taking extended breaks or leaving Destiny 2 overall, playing other games. True Vanguard recently announced that he's taking a break from Destiny 2, and we have many others doing the same, including one that we're going to watch today. Hopefully, this does send a powerful message to Bungie to fix some of these issues. It says, goodbye, Destiny 2 from TDT. I was like this close to not uploading this video at all. It is currently 1.21 a.m. on the same day that this video is being uploaded. I apologize if the quality is questionable, if the edits are low, um, and if things might not make sense because I don't have a script and I wanted to, I, I, I felt like you deserve some type of information as to what's going on. As you can tell by the thumbnail and title of this video, I need a break. I need to take a step away. Now, this normally I would, this mentality I would normally push back against and say that most, like, for me, I'm, I'm all scatterbrained, I apologize. Destiny is my job and has been my passion. I love playing this game, but more than that, I love making content for this game. As of late, which what I have to do, play this game in order to make content has been extra difficult. I feel like I'm being pushed out of the Destiny space, not by the community, not by the players, but by the developers. Very interesting. Pushed out by the developers. I wonder why that? I wonder why they feel like that. I feel like my person, my like who I am as a person is just not needed anymore. And outside of content being given to the game that I can kind of like take by collateral, it's difficult for me to enjoy this game because of this overwhelming mindset that is plaguing me that the philosophy of the game is changing from what I initially signed up for. I apologize if that makes no sense or if that sentence makes no sense. Like I said, I don't have a script and I kind of suck without a script. <laughs> this is a new low for me in the Destiny space. The only time that was like this for me was back way before, like right before Curse of Osiris. I actually jumped out of Destiny 2 the first time way back in vanilla because it was just not the game I thought it was going to be. Along with so many other content creators, do you remember how dry it got from vanilla D2? Everyone had quit making content in Destiny 2 at that period of time. That was a crazy time. I remember at the top of directory would be someone streaming with like maybe 100, 200 viewers at the time. It was really, really, really dry. Everyone took a break back then. And now a lot of people, it's kind of a similar sentiment now as it was back then. A lot of people are taking a break and taking time off. I came off of Destiny 1, came into Destiny 2 and went, okay, this is weird. I can try to like this. I didn't end up liking it, and I bailed for about a year, and I came back in Forsaken. I really hope that the final that shape is back. the Forsaken of modern era of Destiny. However, I think it will be with the decisions that have been made, particularly for me as a veteran Destiny 2, particularly a PvP player, I just don't think that that's the case. Maybe that's for the better. Maybe that's fine. But it's something that, at least right now, kind of sucks, and it's really wearing me down. And I, all of this has been recontextualized because of my career. This has been the first time I've ever been able to look at somebody square in the eye and say, I am a YouTuber, I am a content creator, and not have them laugh in my face because it's actually true. And I can't just give this up. I would give, I would take this job 1 million percent of the time every single time. But that doesn't mean that there aren't lows right and this is this is one of those lows the hardest thing i would say is sort of like my mental state that has come out of this it is hard to separate your value as a human being from how you're doing as a content creator it's a That's weird thing i've true. talked to other content creators they share a similar thing i know i'm not special in this regard but it's it's really hitting hard right now where if you see videos not doing well you feel like you've done something wrong you feel this is super true as a content creator, especially I've been making content now for 13 years and it's definitely very easy to associate views and success with I am good at this and I belong here. And then as soon as you start to see the low viewership or things decline, you get that like imposter syndrome, like I'm not good enough or I shouldn't be doing this, maybe I should do something else. It's definitely, definitely hard to fight those feelings. That's why it's best to just ignore the views to some degree and try to just focus on your community and focus on making the best content that you can and the stuff that you like making.
feel like you're less valid in some way. Not that that's true, and the community will constantly, thankfully, constantly remind you that that's not true. But going forward, just looking at how things are going, I don't know if I want to be on that sinking ship. I don't know mm. if I was supposed to be on this ship for as long as I have been. I still plan on sticking with Destiny, but I need a break. It's an interesting point to talk about the sinking ship. As Destiny is going down right now in terms of popularity and stuff, people are considering obviously abandoning ship altogether, playing other games, and that's totally their right if they want to do that. Others are choosing to sort of dip their toes in other games and experiment. Myself personally, I'm like the I'm like the guys playing music on the Titanic, and I'm just we're just we're just going down, you know? We're gonna just go down to a slow, breeze, icy death, and we're going down with the Destiny ship though. <laughs> If you've come to this point and you've watched all the way up to this point, this is the point of the video. I need a break. I am going to be uploading less frequently. And when I do upload, it's probably going to be in a way that doesn't require me to actually engage and play with the game. It's probably going to be something like Spicy Clips, maybe once a week. It depends on where I'm at. I can't just stop. As much as I would probably, probably be best for me to just stop for a long extended period of time until I feel like I'm ready to come back. I've been playing Call of Duty and doing all this other stuff and I've been enjoying that and playing Zelda Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, whatever it's called. And all of that has been great, but I can't just stop. My future, my ability to pay for my food and my housing and my car or whatever, all depends on if I'm able to make a video that people enjoy and that people watch. That's an interesting point to bring up too, is like as players of Destiny 2, you can just stop and just play other games. And that's actually a really nice luxury to have, especially when you're feeling burnt out and you're feeling frustrated. You log into Destiny 2 and you just, every day you're just not having it. You leave fuming, uh, but content creators, quote unquote, don't exactly have that luxury because we make money from this game. And so you're very tied to that game. And I've noticed being a content creator for a long time that pretty much any Anytime you leave and play another game, you expect about 50% of what you get currently in Destiny. And so if you're using your Destiny viewership to pay your bills like your rent and stuff, and you just leave and play another game, then you might not be able to pay your rent, you know, which is why you gotta make the right decision, make the smart decision. Kind of keeps you locked in to some degree. I have a different opinion of like how I'm gonna approach content, you know, I'm gonna continue making Destiny content until it doesn't work out. And if I had to play another game, I mean, I'm gonna be the Minecraft streamer and I'm gonna be going heads first into Minecraft or whatever game. Rem it to or whatever you know but i would rather do a hundred percent of one thing and then go from a hundred percent on one thing to then a hundred percent on another thing rather than try to divide and split my time that's just my own personal strategy that i have they want to do things differently hopefully my low hasn't been apparently apparent didn't mean to re repeat that word in the videos because nobody has really pointed it out nobody said hey are you okay which is good i have been trying to mask that for a, lot, uh, a while and it's frankly terrifying just making this video because I don't know if people are gonna be like, well, if you're not gonna upload as much, I'm gonna bail out, see ya, which would be fair, right? Cause just like with Destiny, you joined into this channel for a particular reason and now that maybe that reason isn't there for you, you might have other things. I hope that's not the case. I hope you stick with me, but I don't know. I, and I don't blame you. So to reiterate, because I wanna make sure that this is absolutely critically clear, I am not leaving Destiny permanently. This is a temporary hiatus, a small break, and just a rollback on the amount of content that I'm doing for my own sake. I still have to be able to maintain some type of upload schedule, roughly speaking, both, again, for my own sake, because it keeps me busy, keeps me happy, but just because not very few channels can just stop and come back and have their career still be there. So, you know, that's a thing. So what's actually changing here is you're pretty much not going to see me for seven days. That means no streams, no uploads. I just need a break. I'm actually going to be out of state visiting some family. Hopefully that helps kind of shake up that mindset a little bit. And hopefully I come back renewed, but I don't know. We will see. I know that I, again, I have to keep uploading and I'm sorry I'm repeating myself. I really am. I'm terrible without a script. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about what needs to change. If I were to like sit bungee collectively down and say, hey guys, if I could have one thing or whatever it may be, any number of things, for me, the biggest thing is a shift in philosophy. The continued actions 
which are their way of communicating that I have been given is that players like myself, who are primarily PvP focused, just don't matter. We aren't earning cash, so who cares? We aren't hardly getting any new maps. The modes we are getting are relatively contrary to what we've been hoping for, which is more gunplay focused stuff. The sandbox updates, they used to be fast. Does anybody remember the hard light meta? Maybe for like I a remember. second, because Don't there bring was a me period back. of time it's when PTSD. things seemed to, like it all made sense. Things were hopeful. And I wish Lightfall was that hope. And look, we're going to be back for Lightfall because we kind of have to be. But I, think I it don't means know the final if shape. that's going to be the golden egg that we're hoping, the, the size of the golden egg we're hoping it's going to be. I might have to decide to go to variety type stuff, as you have seen many other channels doing. This has been something on my mind far before those other channels even mentioned that, by the way. So don't blame them or whatever might come out of that YouTube comment section. be kind of weird like that sometimes. This has been something that's been on our mind for a while. Anyway, back to the philosophy thing. I It's it's a philosophy thing. It's, it's, it's a philosophy change that needs to happen at Bungie. It's the communication that is done through their actions that I feel like needs to be changed. I feel like I'm not appreciated as a player. I feel like I'm just there just to, you know, spend some cash and move on. And that really sucks. And I hope that changes. I love Destiny for what it can be, not necessarily for what it is. And I guess I need to start seeing Destiny become what I would hope it would be, even in some small capacity, rather than where we are right now. Is that unfair? Perhaps it is. I don't know. I hope you stick with me. I am terrified, absolutely terrified, to be even discussing this right now. I don't even want to like give it that power, quote unquote. I, I don't even want to put that out there. But I have to be honest, and I feel like you all need to know. Well, there you have it. Another Destiny content creator taking a little bit of a break, a little bit of a hiatus, you know? I don't think that we should roast or flame these content creators when they come back to Destiny as well. I don't think that that helps anything. I know I see a lot of that happening. I see a lot of that in the comments on all these videos and on all my videos talking about this stuff. You know, as soon as someone says, I'm taking a break from Destiny, and then they come back four days later and start streaming, making videos again. We're like, what? I thought you quit. Didn't last any longer than four days, right? And it's like, they're burnt out. They just want to play something else. They're hoping that their efforts to transition to something else will be successful because many other content creators have successfully transitioned. But keep in mind that for every like one successful content creator that transitioned from Destiny to Variety, there is probably 500. It's like a one to 500 ratio. My plan in the future of content for me, as someone that's done this for a while, I've seen everything under the sun, is go 100% at one thing until you hit that full brick wall and then go 100% at another thing. Other people have a different plan and it works out for them. Maybe they do balance two things. Maybe they can just juggle two balls and it works just fine that's what i'm doing but teach their own you know that's what they're gonna do respect to them hopefully they find the success they're looking for and uh, i definitely would be subscribed to them i think they're cool i think they make funny content that's wrap on this one though let me know your thoughts down in the comments make sure to subscribe smash the like button and click on the screen here to watch another video from this channel see you in the next one later